Hi, my name is Vivian. I'm a violin teacher based in North Carolina. And today I'm gonna to be teaching you about how to play pizzicato. First of all, what is pizzicato? You might be asking. That's the Italian word for a technique we use on the violin to pluck the strings versus bow on the strings, okay? It's really useful for um, learning pieces before introducing the bow. So if you're a complete beginner and you're still getting your bow hold down, it's a really great way to learn some pieces and actually feel like you're progressing <laughs> in your learning. Um, even though you, you might be, uh, it can be frustrating to um, have to wait for your bow hold to catch up before learning pieces. And so you can fix that by learning with pizzicato. Um, there are two ways to play pizzicato. We can play it with the right hand, right hand pizzicato with the bow hand or we can play with our left hand. So we're gonna start with learning how to play left hand pizzicato and then we'll go on to the right hand. So to play left hand pizzicato, we need to pluck the string with a finger that isn't down on the string. So if you had your first finger down, you wouldn't be able to use that to pluck the string very well. You would need a higher finger like your um, third finger or more commonly your fourth finger to pluck. So to play left hand pizzicato, we're gonna set up our violin. We're gonna make sure we have really beautiful posture. So making sure that our violin is set on our collarbone, not too low, not too high, just right in the middle like Goldilocks. <laughs> and then we're going to make sure that our head is positioned well and just really make sure that our posture is really good before we start. Okay, now I'm gonna make sure that we have a nice neutral wrist. See how it's neutral, not Curved in like this, this is really common. Or not like that. Less common, but still a temptation. Left hand pizzicato is really useful because it helps strengthen our pinky, which will be really useful for um, using our fourth finger later on in our playing. And it also helps us form our hand really well for playing position with the left hand. So to Set up our left hand pizzicato first. We're gonna pay attention to our posture. We're gonna set our violin on our shoulder, on our collarbone and play in position. Making sure that everything is set up really well, that your head, your jaw is on the jaw rest. <laughs> Good, and that your wrist is in neutral, okay? Then we're gonna just practice using our fourth finger and plugging open strings for now, okay? We're gonna pluck over, let's start with the E string because that's the easiest to reach. We're gonna um, bring our hand and our elbow forward a little bit so that we don't wanna, we don't wanna bend our wrist at all. But we do want to curve our hand from, from like here in so that our palm faces our fingerboard. And we want to do that until our pinky can comfortably reach the E string. And then you're going to take your string with your pinky and you're gonna wiggle it a little bit good job you can see it moving all right and now we're gonna pluck the e string good job don't pluck it super hard probably won't be able to but not so it hurts just so that it makes a sound good job and can we pluck different rhythms like um i love the violin good job Good job, all right. Let's try the same thing, but we're gonna try it on the A string, okay? So, we're going to turn our hand so that our palm faces the uh, fingerboard, but our thumb is still comfortably resting against the neck of the violin. And then we're going to pluck the A string. Very good, if you hit the E string, that's okay. Um, eventually you wanna get to the, we only hit the A string, but um, if you hit both for now, that's all right. Okay, now let's try the D string. Remember, we're gonna have to bring our elbow in a little bit. Okay, and let's pluck the D string. Very good. And the G. Very good. And we can get creative with our rhythms like we did before with the E string. Uh, you can get creative with the combination of strings that you use. What can be really fun is making an open string accompaniment to a folk song or like a Christmas carol or something. Um, like 
treacle tinkle. You can pluck along on the A string. And sometimes intersperse the D and the E string, depending on what sounds good. Um, but for now, let's come up with a little exercise where we pluck all four strings. And first time around, first time around with the exercise, we're going to pluck each string four times, like this. E, 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 A, 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 D, 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 G, 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 G. Good job. Now, we're going to go three times. Ready? E, 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 A, 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 D, 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 G, G, G. Good. Can we do two times? E, E, A, A, D, D, G, G. Good job. Can we do once per string? Ready? E, A, D, G. Good. Now, can we go up? G, D, A, E. Very good. Excellent. So that's left hand pizzicato. And like I said before, it's really helpful for strengthening that fourth finger and forming our left hand playing position, which can be hard for some people to get. Okay, now we're going to learn right hand pizzicato. Right hand pizzicato is when we use the right hand, the bow hand, to pluck the strings instead of the left hand. And this takes some getting used to because um, you can practice it without the bow. We'll do it both ways. We'll practice the right hand pizzicato without the bow, which is the easiest. And then we're going to practice it with the bow. Okay? For now, let's practice it without the bow. Let's make sure that our violin is up on our shoulder. We have a beautiful playing position. Good job. We're going to leave our left hand in middle position here, right against the shoulder, so it takes a break. Okay? Now, what you're going to do is going to really help you pluck with your right hand. You're going to make a little anchor for yourself with your thumb, okay? The thumb is going to go on the corner of the fingerboard that's closest to your E string. Don't touch the E string though. And it's going to just rest right here. That's going to give you a little anchor, okay? And then you can take your first finger and you always want to pluck over the fingerboard. You see how I'm over this black part? We always want to pluck over the fingerboard. It has the nicest tone. And it also makes sure right here, the string is very tense because it's close to the bridge. And if you pluck um, over the F holes, you can pull the string out of tune much more easily. And then you can also get the oils from your skin, from your fingers, onto the string, which can interact with the rosin on the bow and just make for bad things. So we want to make sure we pluck over the fingerboard. Good job. And we don't want to pluck too hard. We don't want to make the string snap, okay? Um, that can pull your string out of tune. That can be a different technique that people use, but for now we're going to just focus on plucking the string nice and gently. Yeah. Can we pluck G, D, A, E? Very good. Now how about E, A, D, G? You can pluck different rhythms and right hand pizzicato is really great for plucking songs that have you use the left hand so if you're learning twinkle and you're learning it without the bow you can pluck it with your right hand pizzicato very good so that's how you pluck right hand pizzicato without the bow. But sometimes we will need to play right hand pizzicato with the bow. So if you have just been bowing and then you have to quickly switch to a part of the piece where you are plucking, this is how you're going to do that. Let's grab our bow. All right, you're going to make your beautiful bow hold, making sure that your thumb is bent, pinky's curved. All that good stuff, okay? Now what you're gonna do, we have to transition this bow hold because this is really hard to pluck with. You can do it, but it's tough, okay? So we're gonna transition our bow hold to make it easier to pluck, which means we're gonna need our first finger and our thumb free, okay? All we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the frog and the screw into our palm with these three fingers so that our thumb and our first finger are free to pluck. Okay, ready? Do you see that? 
you can try practicing switching from your bow hold. This is a really good bow exercise, actually. You can practice switching from your bow hold to your plucking position. Bow hold, pluck. Bow hold, pluck. Good job. See how these two are free? Like a little crab with its pinchers. All right, we're gonna, same thing. We're gonna hook our thumb onto this little corner right here. So your first finger's free and then you are free to pluck over this over the fingerboard with your first finger. If your first finger gets tired, that's fine. You can pop up a different finger and use that. Very good. With the left hand, you can technically use a different finger, but it's so good for your pinky to get used to plucking that I would say only use your fourth finger for left hand pizzicato. All right. Um, don't practice so that you get blisters. <laughs> Make sure that you take breaks and you practice uh, pizzicato because you can't get blisters on your on your fingers and that can be uncomfortable so um, just make sure that you are not injuring yourself when you play all right if you have any questions you can email me or you can drop them down in the comments below if you're one of my students I will see you in our next lesson and if not I'll see you in the next video thanks bye